Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 is one of the strangest games I've ever played. Partly because it is a third person shooter multiplayer game that's based off of a casual tower defense game. But it's also really strange because it's surprisingly fun for what it is. And uh, I kind of just feel like showing off a little bit and just playing around. One thing I love immediately about this game is that there's no main menu to it. This is all you get. There's a pot. There's like pause menu um but there's also this open world that also acts as a menu of sorts so if you go over here you can do the multiplayer which you're going to go to in a second uh, over there is where you can do the single player and all that jazz and over here is a co-op horde mode sort of thing over here is the backyard battleground which is a open world to explore it's completely optional from the uh, multiplayer side of things um, some of the single player stuff uses a little bit, but overall it's just kind of a little thing to play around in and try out characters and all their things. So I think the best place to start is to do a pretty standard team deathmatch. Also I know my ping is bad, we're, we're just gonna hope that doesn't affect this too much. Weeeee. So the first thing to do before the start of every match is you can pick one of seven characters Per team, there's seven characters on both sides, be sides being plants and zombies, and uh, all 14 of them are completely unique, and all have their own abilities and regular weapons and stuff. Once you choose a character, you can also choose a variant of that character, and these can be pretty simple from just standard fire damage, fire damage so your shots do damage over time effects, or ice P, which freezes enemies that you hit. You do unlock these by uh, opening packs and stuff, by using money that you earn from the game. And yes, there are microtransactions in this game, I'm going to talk about those later. But f for now, just know that uh, there's a lot to get in this game. And for now, I'm just going to pick the pea shooter. So the pea shooter is pretty standard, he has a pretty... Okay, I was trying to explain my character, I just spawned. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. The pea shooter is pretty basic, all he does is shoots this kind of slow firing P cannon that does a surprising amount of damage actually if it connects. If it doesn't connect then it does splash damage. I'm gonna get this guy because he's not paying attention. Oh never mind his planet needs him. Um, each character also gets three abilities so uh, one of the P shooters is he can go into a turret and root himself in place. Uh, of course it doesn't work if your opponent rushes you like that guy did. The other thing P shooter can do is with RB, he can do this sort of like speed boost thing where he moves faster and jumps a lot higher. The last ability he has is a chili bean bomb, which is he throws that, it's basically a grenade, and if anything gets hit in that, it's probably going to die. Kind of like what I just did by the same guy, which is kind of su surprising. Alright, I'm gonna try going in this front way. I don't think it's gonna work, but I'm gonna throw that in and run away. Nope! I don't even know what just happened there! Uh, when you die, you can actually be revived by teammates, and if they do revive you, the uh, enemy team actually loses the point they got from killing you. Which is cool, but um, sometimes you just can't get revived and you gotta respawn. Alright, um, observation. We're not winning. Okay, I'm gonna use the, uh, the high jumps to give myself some extra area coverage. Actually, we're surprisingly well. Oh. What happened to you? Oh god, this is this guy's playing as an imp. They are really annoying, but they're actually not too bad with the uh, pea shooter. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can revive him. Okay, he came back, and so I just oh dude, I was gonna revive you. This guy's not a team player. All right, doesn't look like we're gonna win this one, but uh, I don't think it was my fault. <laughs> That's all that matters. As long as it's not my fault that we lost, I don't care. In between rounds, you can actually buy packs, which is a really nice detail. But yes, this game does have microtransactions. You can use real-world money to buy the coins in this game, and using coins, you can buy packs and stuff. And with packs, you get customization op options for your characters, as well as character pieces, which once you get enough, you unlock a variant for one of the base characters. You get all the base characters for free, but the variants you have to unlock. I know there's mixed feelings about microtransactions in video games, but I actually don't mind them in this game, because um, the game actually gives you a pretty decent amount for just playing the game. 
So, just by playing the game, I've actually unlocked most of the abilities without paying a single dollar. Uh, besides the, buying the game, of course. Alright, we have switched sides to the zombie team, and uh, of course, there's seven unique characters over here. Uh, let's go with someone a bit different from the standard. Let's go for the, uh... I like the pirate guy. The pirate guy is always fun. Pirate guy is interesting. He has a, uh... If you just fire your gun normally, it's uh, basically a shotgun. Uh, if you aim your gun, however, and then fire... It becomes a snap rifle. That's a really cool system. I like it. A, a couple characters have that sort of dual weapon sort of thing going on. So yeah, as you can see, <laughs> uh, oh, okay, that's so funny. But yeah, the uh, sniper thing is pretty useful. All right, let's. We're gonna try to snipe that orange. Well, someone got him. Oh, there's a there's a lot of things right in front of me. Oh boy, you know it's actually going pretty well. Just staying in this doorway, sniping anyone that goes out in the open. You know, let's, I can enforce this. Um, one of the pirate's abilities is he goes on this cannon turret, which is a uh, can do some damage. It has good splash damage. Oh. Okay, well he actually got. Oh, I got corn. All right, this is we have a very similar situation going on from last match, but I think I can pull it back. Oh, I have an idea. I hope I can get this guy. I can't. Oh. All right, what is this guy doing? He's a uh, doing the rocket long range. In that order, I guess. Maybe I can help him with that. Oh, I should not help him with that. <laughs> that was a little close. I'm glad they, they had that hidey hole there. I can, get, I can get this guy. Uh, I guess I can't get this guy, actually. Oh, but I, can't, I can't get anyone. I can't finish anyone off. There's so, the entire enemy teams over there. How can I not kill any of them? Alright, we're gonna do this, the cheeky barrel is what I like to call this strat. You poor fools! <laughs> oh, I'm getting, I'm gonna get so many kills, except maybe not. All right, well, I, I think I did a lot of good there, but the problem is they're probably just gonna revive everyone, and then I'm gonna lose all the points that I earned. That wasn't actually that successful in hindsight. Uh, I don't think a. Uh, oh crap! They can see us from over there. That's bad. I think I can actually revive this guy though, so we'll be fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Corn. 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 <laughs> Not the rapper either. Oh, this uh, scientist guy is actually healing me. Yeah, each side kind of has a designated medic class. So, uh, this guy was healing me, but he's just decided to fuck off, actually. Can't say I blame him. I'm kind of rotting. I imagine scientists probably smell a lot nicer than, like, the pirate zombie, right? Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Barrel away! I'm actually doing this mainly just to live. Because I think it'll recharge anyway. Well, it didn't matter because they won anyway. All right, now that you kind of get the gist of how the game is sort of played, let's uh jump into one of the big modes. All right, we've uh, joined a game in progress apparently of uh, gardens and graveyards, which is a almost kind of battlefield-like type of match. Uh, the plant side has to defend points on the map, and the zombies have to attack that point that the plants are defending. I'm gonna try to get this guy. Also, I'm playing as a corn this guy. The zombies only attack one point at a time. Once they take one point, they move on to the next. So, uh, it's not quite as, like, back and forthy as, uh, Battlefield games are. But, the maps... The way that the match is structured, the matches can get surprisingly long. And, uh, pretty heck, there's a lot of variety in each map, too. This time around, I'm gonna play as the corn because the corn guy is absolutely overpowered, to be honest. I, I think this game's pretty well balanced. Like, I think every character is pretty equally powerful, but, uh, Korn definitely has an advantage. His machine guns are pretty powerful and pretty accurate as well. He can throw that out, which is essentially a portable airstrike. He can do this to annoying enemies right next to him, which is a rocket launcher. And, uh, when he's in danger, he can just run away like that, with the, that kind of flip, and also tags anyone underneath him. He's pretty versatile. He's, like I said, probably the best character in the game, and that's why you'll see a lot of people playing as him. Oh, there's th that guy's doing the cheeky barrel. I'm gonna do that because otherwise that guy's gonna get me. Crap, they uh, took the point. So this means that we're supposed to retreat, but I find it's actually best to just try to survive as long as possible, just to slow them down a little bit. All right, now we uh, sit here and wait for them to come to us. Oh, but there's a okay. They're starting to actually do a, a, a attack. So uh, we need. <laughs> I don't know where that guy went. Oh, they're attacking us from up there. My guy's not uh, too suited for, like, sniper battles, so, uh... I, you know, I could probably get up there, actually. 
Oh, that did work! <laughs> I mean, it worked, but I I kind of flubbed the ending up a little bit. Man, they are really trying to, like, snipe his heart up there. Uh, I wonder if I can just go up there again. Maybe you do it slightly better than last time. Alright. Alright, shoot the rocket! I don't... I didn't shoot the rocket. But, uh, I'm doing something! Uh, uh, uh... <laughs> Wow, he hit me so hard that I teleported through another dimension. Oh! <laughs> Looks like I'm getting freaking sucked into the upside down. Zombies only have a minute left to uh, capture the point, and uh, if they don't capture one point, then the the match ends. The uh, plants effectively win. Oh crap! The imps have ability, kind of like Timefall, where they just spawn in a mech. Okay, that was very underwhelming. <laughs> Okay, they only have 9 seconds. I think we're gonna win this match, actually. Oh, oh, dude, this guy is... Oh, no. They might be able to grab it just barely. The game's gone in overtime. As long as there's one zombie in the uh, capture point, the game goes into overtime until they're all gone. Wow. That was a very close one. I'm actually kind of surprised I didn't get it. All right, there's actually a challenge I have to do for um, getting kills with like ice variants of characters. So let's uh, do that. The regular soldier is pretty standard. He has a machine gun. He can throw smoke grenades that hurt people. He can do the rocket jump. I say he can do the rocket jump. Uh, and he can fire rockets. A little bit like that. All right, come on, dude. guy. I believe in you. We can take this. The first point's usually very easy to get for the zombies. Otherwise, the game would just be extremely short. Oh, boy. Smoke! Okay, I'm getting a lot of kills for some reason. <laughs> that went way better than I was expecting that to. Oh, dude, this this cactus is gonna get screwed. Oh, and he's. Oh, okay then. I'll be honest. I'm not sure what he was trying to do there. <laughs> he didn't have any help left. All right, this seems to be where the big action. Oh yeah, someone. Yeah, one of the engineers built a uh, teleporter. Um, there's designated places where the teleporter can spawn. And uh, if, if an engineer actually bothers to build it, then other players can teleport, which makes this a lot easier for zombies. However, plants can destroy it if they get over here. So it's zombies have to be both really aggressive and also a little bit defensive, which is kind of neat. Oh crap! I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna back off of that plant. I'm gonna leave actually. Oh crap! There's a chopper right there. Chompers are scary because they can if they get too close, they can just one hit kill you. Oh, we got the point already. Wow, we're doing. A lot better than the plants were. <laughs> oh, did they just close the door? That's the thing. Some of the doors can actually be closed. So, uh... Oh, but they can also just be immediately open. So, um, honestly, I'm not entirely sure what the point is. Oh, boy. I need to... Yeah, I didn't miss all those rockets. That's gonna help me. If I can just... No! I need to hit him with my... Jump! Oh! <laughs> Oh, dude, that was awesome! Ooh, let me uh, show you one of my favorite features about this game. So, um, if you press the back button, it brings you the uh, leaderboard. I'm, I'm actually doing pretty good this match. Um, which, yeah, which is pretty cool. You can see all the players. If you press Y, it immediately mutes every single person in the match. Alright, I guess we're just... Man, we are kind of destroying the plant side on this occasion. This is the problem with respawning right before you actually capture the point. The re actual respawn point before is way over there, so I have an extra long walk to go. I'm honestly surprised that in the time it's taking me for to get over there that our team hasn't already captured the point. <laughs> Maybe the plants are going to get their act together and win the day. And then it cuts to where we got the point. That was really easy. They were barely defending it that time. <laughs> Alright, so here's something cool about this mode. If the uh, zombies actually manage to get to the last point they need to capture before winning the game, it's actually different from the standard points. It almost kind of changes to a different kind of match entirely. Like, now we have to push this point up to the gate, and the uh, plants have to stop us from pushing it. It's really cool. And not only is it unique from the rest of the match, it's also unique per map. So, some of the maps, you can have it to where you're trying to, like win the game by having a soccer match in the middle of the uh the map which is really awesome yeah oh come on man you almost had it all right no come on we gotta stay on it stay on the point i need a smoke stay on the point stay on the point hide from the turnips i think yeah the turnips oh, 
Sylvia keeps trying to revive me. It's not working out for him. Okay, I, I think the best strategy is to go through the smoke and see what happens. If there's no smoke, then make smoke. That's right, Plants vs. Zombies encourages smoking. Unlike some other channels. Okay, they're all gonna... Oh, we're going to the right. Okay, it's, it's never a good idea to attack a castle if you don't know which way the castle is. Alright, they're actually not even vaguely attacking where the actual um thing is, so... Uh, <laughs> they're too busy attacking the entire other team. Oh yeah? You think you can just bomb me like that? No. See, even if the ice doesn't actually affect the plants all that much, all considering, it's still kind of nice to just have the ever-looming presence of ice. Like, just saying that, they're going to get slowed down a little bit, and they're going to be scared. Probably not as scared as those rockets, but, uh, you know, hey-ho. Alright, we actually don't have that much time, all considering, so we, uh, we really got to push it to the limits. Walk along the razor's edge. Or, um, I guess in this case, a bridge. No, come on! Keep pushing! Uh, okay, th maybe I could have not revived him, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, now we keep pushing. See, the important part is the push, but it's also important to leave no man behind. Uh oh, somebody did a really good airstrike! <laughs> uh, retreat! Uh, he corned me like I was something that you would... Corn. <laughs> oh, dude, that guy that kept trying to revive me, he actually managed to pull it off this time. Excellent. Oh, he's. We're gonna die immediately anyway, but, uh. Uh, we're buddies for life now. Not that it means much, especially because we're zombies. We just have to go a little bit further. I can't tell if we're moving or not. I don't think we are. I don't. Even, it has to be me. I have to say. Oh, no, there's a mech over there. We're fine, actually. Come on. No, 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 no. Not like this. Not like this. What? Dang it. I'm really. I'm upset by that. Plants vs. Zombies Gun Warfare 2 has officially upset me. I do like the amount of customization options you get in this game. Like, I've made this chomper to be some sort of... Pimp. Oh, dude, I forgot about this chomper. He's freaking pomper. I'm gonna choose him. Man, I do love the atmosphere of this game. It has really cartoony graphics, but it has cartoony graphics that actually look pretty good. Like, this genuinely looks beautiful along with it. So, kind of reminds me a little bit of Psychonauts, actually. Alright, let's show you what the uh, Chomper can do. He can um, break the ice, apparently. And he can also go underground to take out the footballs! Yeah, that got pretty well. Except for this guy, he's about to bean me. But uh, that's besides the point. Alright, they're kind of doing a good attack, but uh, generally they don't actually see the uh, the burrow too often. So I think she may be able to run up to somebody and flame them. That works too. Nope, you can't, you can't win. Oh, dude, that corn guy got kind of stuck in the ground. I think I got him, though. That would be great if I immediately got sniped. That. I, in fact, somebody added that in. Wait, I'm the editor? Since when? Oh, dude, that elite dodge. The, uh, the, the football players can sprint in you and unearth you, but uh, not if you have sick dodging skills like me. I was actually in football, if you can believe it. I was in, uh, like, elementary school. And I quit after one year because I, uh, I, I didn't like getting hurt. I actually consider this one of the uh, hardest locations that, that the zombies can take. The, um, like, it's supposed to be really easy because it's the first one of the match. It's supposed to be not that hard. But zombies actually have a surprisingly tough time on this. So, you know, kind of feels bad, but not this, not, not right now, because that means I'm winning. No, come on. Dang it, no! I will not- Oh, uh, they took the point. It was on my watch, too. Alright, this is the point where we should start being worried, because uh, now, <laughs> this is whenever this starts getting easier for the zombies, which is weird to say. Alright, let's see if we can get some of these engineers. Yes, you fools! Oh, dude, that was sick! The double chomper combo. And also corn. Oops, screw you! Yeah! It's always best to get the scientists you can, because they're the healers of the group, so if you if you get rid of them, the enemy team's gonna trouble. Unless, of course, they have another healer on there that's just in the same group, then um, you kind of just waste your time. Wait, they're, get, they're, get, they're getting the point, guys. We gotta actually kind of defend it a little bit. Uh, yeah, sure, let's put a... that. Oh, that, that guy got eaten. That was, that was meant to be kind of a funny thing, but actually, I just described what happened. Oh, you, you hate to see that happen. I'm not really sure what just happened, but uh, you hate to see it anyway. 
The, pff, I'm not sure how that guy died there. He got trapped, but he also got gooped, but he also got bitten, so I don't know which got him in the end. Alright, you know, if I can't get the designs, I might as well do some damage to the, uh, teleporter. Oh, dude, it's the real Spongebob, guys. Uh, how's Spongebob doing? He is, um, not, he's, he's not doing great. <laughs> Oh, gotta move out of the way. Oh, I see the barrel! I see the barrel coming! Oh, Lord! I don't think the goop stopped them. Oh, God, he's actually getting the point! Oh, no! Oh, God, I didn't realize they're in overtime. They, we might win this right now. No, no, no! Come on! Oh, they got the point. I'm actually okay with that, because I like this map, and I want to get far in it. Oh, wow, I'm, really, I'm actually really way ahead of where I should be right now. But whatever, I guess I'm our first line of defense. I know I can't even really shoot back at them. But it's not going to stop me from trying. Alright, I know there's like a battle going on, but I really want to see what happens to this like ice polo or whatever. I Ice polo? This is just curling. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not good with sports. Did I mention the football story yet? <laughs> good, good one, scientists. Nice um, job teleporting up to the melee guy and then just getting beamed oh that guy's spreading orange he can't hit me oh God, my freaking stupid pompadour hair is sticking out dang it oh man this is a freaking bloodbath is happening right now uh let's just go in the middle of it see what happens okay well i actually just went straight through it that was surprisingly uneventful oh no no you can't get me this is base um uh, I forgot, they're trying to take the base. Of course it's not safe. Oh god. <laughs> they have a really large force that's about to get to the point, but it hasn't- Oh, it's gotten there. The chaos has begun, I feel. Yes, come on, eat him. Heck yeah. Okay, oh god, they're- they, I, I think they got it, yeah. Oh god, the, oh, you know it's bad when, when the cones start rolling in. Uh, not to be confused with corn, actually. Man, how many chompers do we have on this team? I don't know. That's either- the amount of chompers we have on the team is either the reason why we're doing as good as we are, or as bad as we are, and I haven't been able to tell yet. <laughs> I always love in those moments when you just kind of run in and hold the fire button, and then you just win. Yeah, I know, the strategy is cool and all that, but have you ever thought about just winning? It's pretty simple, forehead. Uh-huh, yeah. What? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, sure. I ate him. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Green Chomper, but a uh, Red Chomper is taking your kill. Man, what a thrilling narrative we got here. We got Disco Chomper here. I'm Red Chomper. There's Green Chomper somewhere, and I think there's a blue one as well. <laughs> All right, they only got 20 seconds left. I think, unless they pull something off, they uh, they're kind of screwed, to be honest. Oh, sorry, corn. Open. Oh, that is victory. <laughs> We take those, I guess. Alright, let's try attacking as zombies and prove that we are much worse. <laughs> We're probably gonna be pretty bad, but uh, we won't be. Oh, yeah, so as a scientist. I always like playing as the uh, medic types in these games. <laughs> Alright, I don't remember what I was doing with this guy, but um, he's automatically the winner just because of those glasses. Alright, while I was too busy picking a character, they already got the teleporter up, so that's nice. Oh, we're already about to take the point. Okay. This is already going much better than when the other team tried doing this. Science is pretty cool. He can teleport like that to uh, close the gap because most of the scientists use shotguns as their weapons. So they can be kind of difficult to use at points. The zoologist has a uh, automatic shotgun in the form of this porcupine. Which is really good whenever you get close enough, but if you don't get close enough, it's really hard to hit anything because the range only goes so far. Whereas the uh, other scientists tend to have like at least some sort of projectile that travels a decent range. I'm really upset that I died there, by the way. <laughs> Freaking savage corn man got me. It's always a good idea to stick in pairs whenever you have some scientists, because then you just form like a here a uh, heel triangle, a here triangle. <laughs> yes, if you there's three scientists together, you can actually hear infinitely better. Oh crap, oh no. Hide behind the house? Oh, I think someone got from behind. Oh, freaking corn again. Uh, are they not defending? Because once again, this is a really easy point to take. <laughs> they're, re they're really an offensive team, is what I've noticed. 
they can't seem to do anything besides like rush even when they're d trying to defend <laughs> oh boy engineer I really hope you can like fight him because I can't <laughs> I'm pretty sure the same corn guy has gotten me like four times now. Alright, corn guy, I don't even care about the match now, I just want to kill corn. Hey, scientist, can I get, like, heals? Thank you. Okay, I'll be honest. I saw the potato mine, I don't know why I stepped in it. <clears throat> come on, get the corn! Oh, okay, come on. Man, their team consists of mainly of, like, one sunflower, and then the rest is just corn. Alright, I kind of wasted my my teleport trying to get over here. Oh no, it's the same guy! Okay, freaking the corn gang's here, jeez! Wait, what happened to I, I, I ran out my teleport, I didn't use- Oh no. Well, it worked out. Alright, we need the big ones. We're gonna send in the, this coffin guy. He has a lot of health, so I'm just gonna just see if I can just hide behind him. Okay. Oh crap, there's a, there's a- I'll be honest, I didn't see him there. And then I got blown up by corn. Alright. Alright, I performed in a successful assassination on corn. And now we take the point. Wow, again, they are not defending the point even slightly. If one guy gets past, they are just like- They fall apart so quickly. <laughs> Teleport through the rocket, that's always the solution I think of. Oh, they, they've changed up their strategy. They're actually, if you can believe it, they're actually defending the point. Oh my god, I can see all the corn icons. I don't know. I mean, I, I did warn you. I warned you that there'd be a lot of people playing as corn. Did you believe me? No. When the corn people take over, I'm gonna be laughing at the face of all of you. I tell you, it's not the zombies we should be worried about, it's the freaking corn. <laughs> Alright, I see we have a lot of scientists already. I might change my character after, next time I die. Because we, we need some, we genuinely need some long range stuff. We have enough shotgun guys right now. Alright, while there's still time to save this thing, I'm gonna switch to the uh, pirate guy. In a vague attempt to like, salvage this round. You know what, screw it. We're sending in the karate guys, and also we're gonna send in the parrot. Oh dude, some guy's making the boat. This is it. This is literally now or never right now. No, Corn! Corn, I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. Yes! And now it just makes sure no one else ruins it. Alright, that guy just took the potato mine. Oh, I think we got it! Alright, cool, and now we got five minutes to take this one. That shouldn't be too hard, right? Alright, I'm actually gonna wait by a teleporter because I'm gonna send my drone. So hopefully by the time this drone dies, we've built the teleporter. Well, that didn't exactly go as planned. Oh, but the teleporter- Alright, that plane shouldn't have worked, but it did. Cheeky barrel! Oh, that didn't work out quite as well as I told. But we're actually capturing it. I think we might get it on this. Oh, I'm the only one. No, no. Oh, God. No wonder we're losing. All the corn is over there. All right, this is starting to get down to the wire again. This is not looking good. We're actually, like, getting really pinned down at this teleporter. All right, because we're getting so pinned down at the teleporter spot, I'm actually going to choose a faster character and try to go around, because I would hope they're not quite expecting that. Yes, all right. With this turret, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm really distracted. Yeah, I got him. I hope that's enough to help him out at least a little bit. I think they actually just airstrike me. I should move. No, come on. No. Team, I did all I could for you. You gotta step it up. Come on, team. Overtime. Come on, we gotta get there fast. No. Dang. It is so hard for zombies to, like, actually win this to be honest it's more just seeing how far you can get okay i think you get the point at this point this is the plans for zombies garden warfare 2 absolutely incredible multiplayer game i highly recommend it. it has so much personality and it also just has a genuinely great game underneath it and the microtransactions aren't even that scummy as well which is really appreciative uh if you're an xbox live gold member you this game was actually free uh, a few months ago, I don't remember exactly when, but uh, if you like just download this game and never tried it out because it's Plants vs. Zombies as a third person shooter, uh, I can understand why you would do that, but seriously, give this game a shot. It is extremely fun and I'm enjoying it a lot and I've been enjoying it for quite a while now. Alright, thanks for watching and uh, remember, the corn people are watching. Stay alert.